so dot flow construct come on tell me what are flow constructs so in the previous session only we have discussed about flow constructs right so what are flow constructs statements which are used to change the flow of execution okay the statements which are used to execute uh, used to uh, change the flow of execution very good so what are the different categories of uh, flow constructs statements we have uh, in uh, python selection statements iteration statements transfer statements okay selection statements iteration statements selection statements iteration statements and uh, transfer statements right so what are the different selection statements we have in python to change the flow of execution what are the different selection statements we have in python What are the different selection statements we have uh, in Python? If, if else, else if. If, if else, else if. So these are all the else. It's not else if. It is else if. Elif. Okay, instead of else if, you are going to use it like elif. <coughs> the S E letters will be skipped. Uh, and uh, in other languages, we are going to use it like else if. But in Python, we are going to use it like elif. Fine. So those are all the selection statements we have in Python. And uh, what about the iteration statements? For loop, while loop. For loop and while loop. So uh, what? In case of uh, other languages, we have three categories of loops. One is for, and the one is while, and the one is do while. But in case of Python, we have only two for and while. So uh, we have seen the syntax and we have seen the examples of uh, uh, using those loops. <coughs> right. So have you uh, done the assignment question what I have given in the previous session? So what is the what uh, I have given two questions in the previous session. So what are those? So what are the previous session questions I have given to you all people? You have to try two if else statements and uh, you have to predict. Uh, you have to uh, build a code for weather forecasting. Another one is, what is the other question? One question is about weather forecasting. Without using any advanced uh, Python elements, you have to uh, predict the, uh, we have to forecast the weather, right? So that you have to implement using only if, if, else, and elif statements, okay? <coughs> so have you done that? Okay, n equals zero, what's that? So what is the other question? Just read out the question. Come on, tell me also what is the other question I have given in the previous session. So one is to fo focus the weather using only if, if, else and elif statements. <coughs> what is the 
what is the other one Pro python program to generate sequence of multiples of 3 with the range 50 very good so have you completed that assignment uh, if you have already done it uh, then uh, just uh, post the answer okay for i in range for i in range 1 comma 50 so i think i have given something different question so we just wait so let me check it. write a program to generate a sequence of multiples of 3 within range 50 and display the same so first answer is given by okay bhagavi uh, let me try the first answer <coughs> for i in range 1 50 So n into n plus three print n. So let me just print it. So you get an error. Print n is not defined. N equals n star three. It is not n. If you want to use n, then you have to use it n here. Okay. Okay. Very good. Within range fifty. So I told you to uh, give the values within fifty, not count fifty. Okay, range fifteen. This is you have to consider the value, not the count of values. Okay, okay. Anyway, I have uh, tried uh, another way. So, uh, so that's appreciable uh, effort. One to fifty, but uh, that uh, until that count, it will go to repeat. Okay, anyway, it is uh, you are returning the uh, multiples of three only, but the count is. Uh, is taking as a uh, value for a uh, value for 50 but i i told you to uh, display the numbers within range 50 that means uh, the values the multiples of 3 what uh, what's the result will come so that uh, value should be within 50 okay within 50 what are all the multiples of 3 uh, values will come so the uh, those should be displayed okay so 3 6 9 12 15 20 18 21 24 27 30 33 36 39 42 45 48 so that's it So fifty one and now above, so it's not uh, alone. It's not uh, my answer. Okay. So let me try the next answer. May I gonna uh, give another answer? <coughs> okay. Let me try May I gonna answer. Okay. So. Done. It's very good. So she has given the right answer. Fine. So this is how we can uh, uh, generate a sequence of multiples of three with the uh, in range fifty. Okay, within uh, zero to fifty range, we can uh, generate the multiples of three values and we can display them using the print statement. Okay. So that's how. Um, <coughs> and uh, weather forecasting is very simple and you have uh, you guys have already uh, know about uh, very familiar with the basics one you, you can uh, do it in a simple way okay uh, let me not uh, go touch on the check it out okay so fine so uh, we have discussed about the different varieties of uh, ways of using uh, for loops and we have discussed about the uh, while loops and the different transfer statements fine so those are all the things we have discussed in the previous session so in today's session we have uh, we shall discuss about the next basic element <coughs> that is about functions okay so 
uh, is there anybody else uh, to join please uh, tell your friends to join us so it is quite disturbing So then what are functions? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then what are functions? So functions are nothing but uh, so these are all the um, as, as you already know about like uh, uh, complex task and the simple task. Uh, when you uh, will be assigned with a complex task what you will do? So generally uh, we are going to uh, split up the task right? right? <coughs> So we often used to split up the task and uh, we'll work on. We'll uh, usually uh, split the task and we'll work on each and every parts, every, every splits, right? So afterwards we will combine the results. Okay. The same thing you are going to do it uh, in programming using functions. That's it. Okay. But here that the task splitting uh, is again a simple task, again a task. Okay. So that can be implemented using the functions. <coughs> that means uh, functions are nothing but these are also a uh, instructions or a block of code so which will perform a specific task okay out of uh, biggest task out of the complex task it will going to perform a simpler task or it will going to perform a part of the task okay so that is how it will going to uh, work Okay. So then what about functions, what is the definition of functions, what is the syntax of functions, so all those stuffs uh, we are going to discuss now. Okay. So then what is the definition of <coughs> functions? So functions, so function is a block of code which performs a specific task. Okay, so it's also is a block of code uh, which will perform a specific task, a part of the task or part of the complex task, and uh, and it will run. This function will go to execute only when it is called. Okay, so this is what the important thing you need to remember. Only defining or assigning the task or the uh, stuff you are going to define uh, what the function has to do. So it does it's not enough you have to call it whenever it is needed otherwise it is simply created that's it so it will not uh, never ever will be used until and unless it is called okay so whenever it is called whenever it is uh, uh, given with the parameters whenever it is given with the values whenever it is given with the work then only it will be executing okay then only it will become useful so that is how the functions can be used so function is uh, nothing but is a block of code which will uh, uh, perform a specific task out of the com complex task or <coughs> part of the task and uh, it will execute it will run only when it is called it is called by the callable function okay so when uh, when it is called it then only it will going to execute and when it is called we need to give some parameters for this function parameters in the sense uh, to perform that task what are all the raw materials it needs to have so what are the uh, defined raw materials so those stuffs we have to give it to the function okay we have to give uh, whenever it is called at the time of calling we have to give the parameters okay so that is how the functions will going to execute so it is uh, we can uh, compare it with the uh, similar to the event management Okay. So whenever an event is uh, happening in our home and whenever we take the responsibility or the, our father take the responsibility, uh, all the responsibility lies on his, you know, his head only, right? So what happens then? He has to take care of every aspect. He has to take care of um, catering, he has to take, uh, take care of the decorations, he has to take care of the invitations, he has to take care of the guest, he has to take care of the stage, all those stuffs. Okay, and uh, whenever the same event is uh, given to the event management team, so what happens, we will become so uh, uh, 
uh, workplace right so and uh, we can enjoy the moment and the work is also not uh, becomes the burden to the event management team because they have the separate departments to perform a separate task okay similarly we'll be having a separate uh, departments like separate functions to perform a separate task so thereby uh, any complex task can be uh, done in a easiest way okay so that is how uh, the functions can be used and uh, one more important feature about the function is <coughs> functions are reusable so that is what the major advantage of uh, the functions <laughs> the major advantage of the functions is what uh, the functions uh, code or uh, once it is defined it can be reused not only for a uh, one task like event management is a company it is not uh, meant for a single event right so a single house event right so we can uh, use them for multiple events we can uh, they will go to uh, different towns they will go to different uh, homes they will go to different uh, events all those stuffs they will go to do it right so similarly but the task is same catering in the sense like they have to prepare the food they have to serve it decoration is uh, the order given the customer is going to select the decoration uh, how the styling should be done so how the decoration should be done so accordingly they will go to decorate okay so according to the budget they will go to you know, buy the raw materials according to the uh, requirements of the customer they are going to prepare everything right so similarly uh, the things <coughs> will be defined like uh, whatever the task to the given to the catering department is fixed only the raw materials given to them and the, the items list given to them will, will may change and on uh, the decoration uh, department task will be fixed using whatever the raw materials they are going to give so using Uh, that uh, those raw materials they have to design it according to the selected design okay? so uh, similarly uh, uh, the raw materials whatever given to the event management teams so that here it those will be called as a parameters okay the things uh, finally what comes to in hand so using those you are going to work okay that things will be called as the parameters okay so that is how the functions uh, can be explained in a simple way so that it can be familiar to if it is explained with a familiar concept to you then it will be uh, in a mind for a longer time so that's why i just uh, take the example of event management <coughs> okay uh, so this uh, this is about the function introduction to function function is nothing but is a block of code which performs a specific task and it will uh, execute only when it is called and uh, the code is reusable okay that means uh, once the function is defined it can be reused for any uh, any number of times okay so that is what the problem, important uh, feature of the function okay then how can you create a function okay so to create a function in python so if we have to follow the syntax like uh, now i'm going to explain so def is a keyword which is used to define function okay so to define a function def is a keyword followed by function name open parenthesis close parenthesis within these parenthesis you you can give parameters okay and these parameters are optional uh, you can have uh, from 0 to n number of n number of parameters okay so afterwards colon enter so here you have to specify the body of the <coughs> function so in the previous session uh, some of your friend uh, have given the answer uh, for the for my question like because of three numbers uh, but she has given the answer using functions so that's a good approach uh, i think uh, she might have already studied all these stuffs okay so this is how uh, the functions is going to be created okay so in python functions can be defined or uh, using def keyword okay def 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 is a keyword which is used to define the key function followed by function name followed by the parameters then these parameters are optional if you want to give it you can give it otherwise you can leave it you can just give the parenthesis open and close parenthesis that is fair enough okay so afterwards the body of function body of the function right so after that uh, we shall see just the example i'll just uh, create a function 
just created like def verb my function so as like my function it should follow the identifier rules my function colon so I just do simple print statement here and I'll give it like hello world okay <coughs> welcome to apparent tricks okay so this is how uh, if I execute the thing so the function is created but uh, see here the function is created only it is not executing okay so but whenever we want to execute it we have to call this function okay so this is how you can create a function okay so afterwards if you want to call it that means if you want to execute it you have to call the function okay so here it is just a created my function named function is created which contains a single statement which uh, will print the statement hello world welcome to Pantrix. so this is how uh, the function going to ex uh, execute if it is executed this is what the statement is going to execute but when we till execute so when it is called okay so how we can call the function just by using the name function okay just execute this so if you call this function just specify the name along with the mentioned count of parameters <coughs> okay so afterwards so whatever the statements whatever the border which is present in the function that will be executed okay so if we execute this so this is what the statement okay so next so you can just uh, take a note of this thing So this is just a simple uh, uh, form of uh, defining the functions okay so uh, we can have uh, n number of parameters or n number of arguments here okay so then uh, what about these uh, parameters and arguments whether it has to be called as a parameter or argument so just a small uh, thing I uh, need to remember is parameter is when the function is defined you have to call it is when it is uh, when the function is defined and the argument is when the function is called okay when the function is called then you have to uh, spe uh, specify the arguments whatever the value you are going to give so those will be called as the arguments uh, whenever you have defined so those then it will be called as the parameters okay so here now it is called as here if it is defined if it is uh, specified then it is called as a parameters here if it is given then it is called as the arguments okay and uh, <coughs> these arguments are nothing but just a variables okay okay these are nothing but the variables okay so let me just uh, create uh, new another function which uh, which include which expects arguments okay so i will uh, to create another function def add of uh, um, a comma b okay colon I'll uh, print a plus b. Sorry. Okay. So if if I call the function add, then I have to specify the values. Then these values will be assigned to the variables here, parameters here. Okay. So whatever the values you are going to mention it here, so those will be assigned to the variables here okay so these are all called as the arguments and here these are all called as the parameters and these parameters are assigned with the arguments values okay and uh, these are called as the actual parameters in other words and these are called as the formal parameters okay that's the uh, different keyword uh, you have to remember uh, whenever we have specified the values as a parameter position in the calling function okay 
and then those will be called as the actual parameter that is what the actual values you are going to work right so that uh, those will be called as the uh, arguments or actual parameters so whatever the formal we like uh, only, uh, this is what the count of uh, uh, arguments you, you have to give for this function so uh, here it will be called as the formal parameters okay so if I execute this function then add function is called add function is first created uh, with the parameters a and b and uh, it will print if i execute this uh, function if you call the if i call this function then it will just print the statement <coughs> a plus b a plus b in the sense it will add the values of a and b and it will print the <coughs> result <coughs> okay so it will print the result okay so what is the value of, of a and b here so a value will be assigned with the value 10 and b value will be assigned with the value 20 okay so a value will be assigned with the value 10 and b value will be assigned with the value 20 and a and b will be added and uh, get printed okay so if I just execute so 30 will get printed okay so this is how uh, the function is going to execute fine <coughs> so uh, yeah, this is the uh, we, uh, in such way we can have our uh, different functions so uh, with and without parameters with one parameter with two parameter with n number of parameters with zero parameters okay so we can have a uh, different uh, varieties of uh, different forms of functions okay so even along with the return types without return types so all those stuffs we can have okay so uh, generally uh, we'll be having uh, four different forms one is a uh, <coughs> function with parameter with return value function without parameter without return value function without parameter with return value function with parameter without return value so these are the different uh, types or forms of function we could have uh, in python okay so we could have without parameter without return type with parameter without return type and without parameter without return okay so this is these are the different four different forms of function <coughs> okay now we could have in python okay so parameter is a sense in that function definitions itself and along with the function name you are going to give some parameters here right so this is if you give this then it is a function with parameter okay and inside the body if you have the return statement return something or return x or return y return a plus b so like something if you are, if your function is returning something uh, then it is called as the uh, function with return value so if we have both then it is called as a it is of the form function with the parameter and with the return value okay so if you have uh, not contain both of them then if you didn't contain any uh, both of these then it is called as a function without parameter and uh, without return type uh, if you contain any one of this uh, then which is present then you have to mention it like a uh, function with those okay with that aspect if uh, parameter is present then it is function with parameter if the return value is present then it is function with parameter uh, with return value okay so this is how uh, you are going to use different uh, forms of functions in python okay <coughs> fine so uh, we could have a different uh, uh, arguments types okay so we'll be having a different uh, argument categories like not only like a formal and actual parameters uh, by mention mention it here as a parameters uh, we'll be having uh, different uh, types like uh, command line arguments keyword arguments default arguments okay so likewise we'll be having a different uh, types of arguments all the parameters here okay so then what about command line arguments uh, command line arguments in the sense so those are all the arguments uh, that are going to 
uh, used that are going to be used or passed to the function in the command line that means uh, uh, when it is when the function or when the, when the program is executed in the uh, through the command prompt okay or the in the shell level then we have to give the commands uh, sorry uh, arguments or the parameters at the uh, prompt in the shell level so there uh, through the commands then it is called as a command line arguments through the commands through the instructions you are going to give the commands then it is called as a command line arguments okay so if you mention it with the keywords that means you can rearrange the uh, like if you give like a, a and b here and i want uh, 10 to be assigned to a and 20 to be assigned to b uh, but uh, whenever i have key i'll give the value here <coughs> then i'll give 20 first and 10 next and and i want then also 10 to be assigned to a and 20 to be assigned to b okay 10 and 20 so uh, if i want uh, like this okay so then i can use the parameters names here or argument names here i can initialize it like b equals 20 and a equals 10 if i re rearrange that then also i can uh, i can assign the proper values to the proper variable okay so this kind of argument parsing will be called uh, arguments will be called as the keyword arguments okay so likewise we'll be having different uh, uh, varieties of arguments okay so we'll be using them in the machine learning algorithms you can majorly use the machine learning algorithm arguments are <coughs> one is command line arguments another one is keyword arguments and default arguments default arguments in the sense if it didn't give any values here okay so what uh, what happens here what generally the function expects how many parameters you are going to mention it here so that many arguments you have to pass here when you uh, when the function is calling but uh, sometimes uh, we may not uh, have uh, uh, some value to pass and we want to be uh, we want to set the default value if any change value will come then only assign the uh, change the value uh, change the parameter value otherwise keep it default so then in such cases i can give assign a value here by default while defining the function okay so if i uh, if i give any value here then only these values will be changed otherwise if i didn't give any value here default values will be used okay observe here so i just use 10 10 so default values will be used if i give any values here any other values then those values will be used okay so you have such kind of arguments will be called as default arguments okay so likewise we'll be having uh, varieties of arguments in functions also okay so uh, this is what the basic introduction and uh, the concepts inside the function uh, with respect to the python this is very simple to concepts <coughs> so these are all the very simple concepts and uh, uh, very uh, simple things to remember just a minute difference to know the various concepts okay uh, uh, that's uh, about the functions uh, in python okay so we have uh, uh, we have seen the definition of function so what is function function is nothing but a function is a block of code which performs a specific task and uh, it, it executes only when it is called okay and uh, what is the syntax it's a uh, def is a keyword followed by function name open parenthesis close parenthesis and colon followed by the body the, with the indentation rule satisfaction of the indentation rule okay so afterwards <coughs> def uh, have seen i have given the example def my function print hello world so welcome to the Andrix. and um, i just call the function so uh, function will execute will execute only when it is executed when uh, when it is called okay so when it is called then only it will go into execute so afterwards you shall just see the different uh, forms of functions we'll be having a function with and without parameters optional parameters and optional return values okay so we can we could have these diff four different forms of functions okay so meanwhile we have seen the uh, different argument types okay 
the argument types are uh, default arguments <coughs> keyword arguments command line arguments okay so these are the uh, normally used majorly used uh, varieties of argument types in any machine learning algorithm okay so i have shown you to uh, about the keyword arguments and the default arguments and the command line arguments at the project level uh, while we are going to implement so in, in that uh, situation you, you can uh, see these are uh, implementations okay so if we have uh, any doubts in any of these uh, so far discussed concept about the functions so you can just ask me so do you have any uh, questions to ask or any concept uh, any point where you, you didn't understand about the functions guys if you all uh, everybody understood the concept of functions then I'll move ahead I'll give the question and uh, start uh, answering the question using functions everybody is I hope uh, nobody is responding in the sense of uh, I hope everybody is understood the concept fine so Megana uh, can you share your screen Megana I asked you to share your screen in the sense your uh, desktop screen. In two minutes, ma'am. No? I will join in la la okay. Open your Jupyter Notebook or any Python uh, tool you are going to use to execute the Python programs. Which programs now? Okay, so now, <coughs> so you know about uh, even and odd numbers, how to check whether a number is even or odd. So 
just implement that uh, uh, to check whether the given number is even or odd using function. Using functions you have to implement. So give 10, okay fine, enter, that is all, okay, give 25, okay, 6 is even, right, right, <coughs> fine, uh, thank you Meghna, Gagan, you can stop uh, sharing your screen, Meghna, thank you, Gagan, now share your screen and uh, I'll tell you the question and uh, answer. Gavin? Gavin. Gagan, share your screen and I'll uh, tell you the question and start typing your code. Bhargavi. Bhargavi, share, uh, share your screen and um, I'll tell you the question and you'll start answering the question. Ma'am, no laptop, ma'am. Lam tamman atra hai ma'am, do laptop ho. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Uh, you held me, code held me, ma'am, write me di... Okay, Question. Okay, fine. Um, <coughs> so, using uh, functions, 
implement um, what's that uh, so biggest of three simple task so in the previous day we have uh, sorry biggest of four numbers so in the last session uh, your friend have already given the biggest of three numbers functions right so biggest of four numbers simple uh, just extension just write it down and uh, just show uh, screen, screen will show uh, display my list. Ma'am, ma tell me question three. Biggest Repeat of me. four numbers using functions. Uh, until Bhargavi completes her task, uh, we sh I shall inform you some more. Inform uh, so I will give you the, some more information about so whatever the concept we have discussed in the previous session. So, uh, as we have already done with the Python basics, almost. So we have uh, dealt with some uh, core important concepts: core data types, operators, uh, identifiers. Uh, I likewise, C or Python or uh, uh, java any of the programming language you're going to consider so any of the programming language contains its own set of keywords 
okay so its own set of keywords in the sense uh, those are the reserve words and these reserve words cannot be used as a variable name so you might have already uh, know this thing in c we can't use for as a variable name while as a variable name or uh, <coughs> uh, with as a vari uh, variable name or uh, and as a variable name or as a variable name, we can't use them right so similarly in python also we'll be having 32 uh, set of variables uh, sorry uh, keywords and we can't use them uh, as a variables or any identifiers okay so just look after the uh, look after once look at those uh, keyword set and just try to remember so while using the uh, while executing the programs while using the uh, instructions writing start you used to start write programs right using the words and uh, statements so then only you'll get it uh, which is the uh, keyword which is not the keyword so you will get it by default okay so and afterwards they have discussed about the core data types so uh, i have just uh, given in basic information about the uh, what are the different kinds of uh, at uh, data types we have uh, in python so there are plenty of built-in methods which are specifically designed to use for a specific data type right so for a list it has a it's a, it has its own set of functions uh, to work on the list uh, data type to values only and uh, for strings it has it its own set of <coughs> excuse me its own set of uh, functions to work uh, for string values only and for tuples it has its own set of uh, functions okay so we have uh, a specific set of functions which will be work full only for a specific data type okay so uh, uh, just to work out those functions uh, those are uh, those will uh, reduce your work uh, in a higher way okay uh, if you write uh, to do a simple task if you want to write like three four lines of code uh, or uh, ten lines of code uh, then just a simple instruction a single line of code or a single dot or single hyphen single parenthesis open and close will reduce your task okay so that is how the methods or the functions which are available in python uh, for a specific data types or a specific any objects uh, will be helpful to you or uh, to reduce your task much okay so that's why it is uh, so like a spoon feed language okay you can get it whatever you wish so you just wish it and there is a library for that okay you just need you, you don't need to create it if you want to find out the sum there is a function if you want to find out the average there is a function if you want to find out the square root there is a function if you want to find out the uh, minimum value then it, there is a function maximum value there is a function so if you want to calculate the pi there is a function like if, you, if you want to read the value just <coughs> <coughs> by default there is a function if you want to print a pattern there is a function okay so this is how for everything you'll be having the function for everything you'll be having uh, library support so just take a help of those uh, library functions uh, and use them at the best okay so bhargavi done Bhargavi? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, on in, uh, mobile screen, in the camera, on the camera, on the camera, on the book, it put it on the camera. Yes, ma'am. Screen. <laughs> Just a simple task. Uh, so in the previous session, we have already seen the biggest of three numbers. I just told you to uh, find out biggest of four numbers using functions. equal to 30 c is equal to 10 d is equal to 25 <laughs> ok 
okay print a okay i told you to uh, implement using function uh, i told you to implement this thing using function not uh, without function okay ma'am <coughs> just use the function so what are the statements you have you have written here just use them within the function that's it So who are present until the end of the session? So those will get the attendance and those will get the certificates. Otherwise, you will not get the certificates or the attendance. And these concepts will not be repeated. Okay. So if you just miss the classes like this. Okay, then uh, until then just uh, take a question. class code <coughs> and submit your assignments there okay so uh, like this the uh, classroom will, uh, will be created for you people and uh, if you are in the class work part so we have we will be creating assignments and assign it to you and for that you have to uh, submit okay whatever the questions we have given to you so you have to submit your answers uh, either it can be your returned uh, uh, sheets and you can take a snapshot so I can just scan them and you can upload the figures upload the, upload that photos in the PDF format or else you can just execute those statements in uh, uh, any of the IDE and uh, take a screenshot of it and you can uh, convert it to a PDF and you can just uh, upload it okay so both the ways you can submit your assignment fine so the class code will be shared to you in our tomorrow's session okay so as uh, tomorrow is the weekend we'll going to give you an assignment and uh, whatever the question we have given in the previous class and in today's session and in the tomorrow session so all those two questions should be <coughs> executed or uh, returned and should be submitted within monday okay fine uh Bhargavi, done Okay, Bhargavi. <coughs> Bhargavi, are you getting it what uh, I told you? Ma'am. Okay. 
okay fine so uh, whatever the statements you have written is all right but uh, those are implemented without using functions right so but i told you to use those statements using function that means with within the function you have to use that statement like uh, ch checking the condition and uh, printing the value printing the biggest number so those stuffs has to be written within the function so that i told you okay uh, consider this as an assignment to you and uh, upload it to a classroom okay fine so <coughs> is that fine bhargavi bhargavi consider yes, this yeah. okay so consider this as an assignment and uh, try it uh, and uh, write down your code afterwards your brother has come and uh, execute them or, or else you can use your on online compilers in mobiles also okay so open your browser and uh, check out for online compilers for uh, python so there you can execute your python program or else uh, you can uh, you make use of another tool called as google collab okay which is very similar to jupyter notebook okay so jupyter notebook similar uh, uh environment similar cell structure similar execution environment all will be present in the google collab so <coughs> you can uh, open your google, uh, you can use that google collab collaboratory google collaboratory is the name okay so you can use that and uh, there you can execute your programs okay so that also you can use okay so and uh, your files will be saved in your drive okay Uh, or else you can use your any python apps python uh, compiling apps like uh, c programs execute mana tara hang apps iruttala adhe tara python programs execute mana ko apps iruttu execute mana ko apps iruttu so avana install madkonu bekara python programs na execute maadi okay so to the basic level or else google collaborator is the best one so your files will be saved in a drive fine so uh, we should move on to the next thing Uh, next uh, concept in the path is modules okay so we have uh, until now we have seen all the basic or uh, the fundamental elements of python so we have seen the identifiers keywords variables uh, code data types operators uh, flow constructs if else statements iteration statements selection statements transfer statements right so in the uh, and then functions we have discussed so now uh, we shall try to implement the next concept that is called as modules okay so for implementing this so i'm just uh, going to use not the jupyter but here i'm going to use spider okay so it is present in your anaconda distribution itself as soon as you open your anaconda navigator so many tools many ids will be available here you can use any of this okay so till now we uh, i'm using uh, jupyter notebook uh, but for uh, today's module concept i just use uh, for a change uh, i'm going to use spider okay so let me see what uh, is this and how its environment will be present okay so just a sec so it will get open so similar to um, any other programming language uh, here also uh, we have uh, generally just a sec okay so generally uh, basically there are two categories of functions one is a user defined function other one is built in function so user defined function is the function which is defined by the user that's it okay that is uh, like wise uh, as if uh, we have tried till now okay so as like my function uh, add function like x named functions whatever you find have created so likewise uh, the user has created a function if the user has created a function then it is called as user defined function uh, if the uh, function is already defined pre defined by the compiler or the developer or the designer then it is called as built in function or predefined function okay so these are the basic two categories two types of functions so whenever you told to write about the types of functions in any of the programming language then uh, these are the general basic categories uh, one is built in function other one is user defined function 
so built in functions are the functions which are uh, predefined predefined in the sense you need not to define them so similar to like uh, 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 till now uh, you will be using input function, you will be using print function, right? So, you will be using length function, type function, right? So, those are all the functions, but there you are not going to uh, use them, you are not going to create them, right? So, type named function is not created by us, length named function is not created by us, print named function is not created by us, right? So, likewise, so if we are using the functions, but we are not uh, defining them, then such functions, uh, if those functions are working, then the such functions are definitely predefined. <coughs> okay, so such functions are already defined by the uh, defined and uh, installed along with the package Python package. Okay, so those kind of functions uh, will be called as a built-in or a predefined function or uh, library functions. Okay, and uh, whatever the functions we are going to create, like we, we being a user or the programmer, will going to create a function like add uh, my function, subtract x, finding the factorial, okay, uh, fact, Fibonacci, okay, so recursive numbers. So likewise, you are going to create a function name. So these named functions are not predefined functions, and these are defined by the user okay so those are called as the user defined functions so uh, we have seen <coughs> right so this fun fun named function is a user defined add names function is a user defined fun name my function so these are all the user defined functions so print is also a function so it follows the function call function call rule follow the name of the function the open parenthesis is a parameter and now value parenthesis close after it's also a function but here we are not going to define what a print has to do right so it is already defined so such function will be called as predefined function okay so these are all the three uh, different categories or different types of function and uh, these are different forms within user defined functions only we could have these different varieties okay, we can define the function in these different forms okay so this is uh, what uh, all about the functions okay so next we shall move on to the models for that uh, as i told i will go to use spider tool okay so this is what your spider tool similar to the jupyter uh, it is also a tool a python tool which is used to execute uh, python programs but uh, this is majorly used to execute machine learning algorithms and the models likewise okay so mainly data science and the machine learning algorithms to execute such stuffs so these uh, this uh, tool will going to use okay uh, you can just see uh, here we can uh, uh, execute the code at the shell level means at the kernel level we can execute the program like uh, a equals 10 so if i print a so a will get printed okay to at the core level uh, uh, jupyter notebook or the spider so whatever we are going to use so it will work on, on top of this shell but in the spider tool uh, you can also work at the shell level at the console level okay like as you are going to work with the command prompt so you can also work in the console level to the shell level uh, uh, using this part in the spider <coughs> excuse me environment okay and uh, here is a space you are going to uh, explore uh, for any of the variables you are going to create here so those can be explored here any of the files are opened here uh, if you want to open so then you can explore it here you can uh, exp open them from here itself and if you want to take any help so then you can just uh, take a help here by using uh, some keys and uh, whatever the object you are going to see you are seeking for the help okay and here is the place where you are going to type your code okay <coughs> now uh, let me just uh, create a folder in a desktop right Okay, I'll just create a folder in a desktop. Okay, new. Just use a fun 
questions okay so here <coughs> i'm going to search the path here just search it okay just select a folder okay so then now uh, if you if you are going to uh, open your file and if you write any program then those files can be saved in this path okay so in this way you can open your folder and you can uh, save uh, start writing your code and save your files okay so why have uh, taken the uh, spider tool to uh, specifically explain about the models is uh, models are uh, nothing but these are the libraries very similar to libraries right so how you are going to use the libraries like studio.h conio.h in c or uh, uh, pandas numpy matplotlib in python or uh, io stream in c++ right so likewise uh, <coughs> likewise uh, if you want uh, so likewise if you want to create your own modules like uh, libraries then you can create it and you can use it and uh, to uh, show that effect that library has created and uh, from that library we have taken we are taking the uh, we are uh, using the functions we are taking the variables so to uh, show that feel so that uh, for that purpose i have uh, selected this tool okay so let me just uh, create a new file it has opened just so window layout <coughs> okay so what happens uh, as i told uh, models are nothing but these are also libraries so uh, you uh, similar to the use of libraries you are going to uh, use the modules okay so modules a python module is nothing but is a file it's just a file as like library <coughs> so python module is just a file which contains python definitions and statements instructions variable declarations your uh, calculations functions okay so uh, all these things will be saved in a file with the extension .py okay so python module is nothing but a, is a file containing a python definition it's just a file containing python definitions uh, <coughs> instructions functions okay or classes okay it's a definition in the sense it can be a variable definition it can be a class definition or anything or uh, here we shall include variable also variables okay so it's just a file containing a python variables python definitions instructions functions classes etc and uh, this file will be saved with dot py extension as like file name file name dot py okay file name can be anything any anything as per your wish but it should be a one word okay so uh, whatever the things you are going to uh, define uh, that uh, we i want uh, some set of function to work under some category okay and as for uh, some uh, like as i said functions are used to uh, perform a complex task okay for that purpose uh, we have split the task and uh, assign each task to the each function so we'll combine all those functions together and we'll store them uh, in a simple file 
and uh, we can use that file to perform a complex task okay so that's how the library will be used right so this is what the use of uh, modules so modules are nothing but the fun files python files uh, which contains python variables which are uh, definitions instructions functions classes etc okay so it it can contain another modules also sub modules like a model within a model okay so <coughs> together it will be called as a module all these stuffs which are saved under the name file name dot py so it will be called as a module and that module will be identified by the name so whatever you have given as a file name here okay so whatever give whatever you have given as a file name here so by that name that module will be identified okay and by that name itself that module contents will be accessed okay so while uh, giving the file uh, file name for a module be careful and uh, give a uh, accessible and very uh, suitable name to access and uh, to uh, which is very near to which is very suitable to your task okay fine so that is uh, what the definition of modules and uh, it is a <coughs> it is a use like a similar to the library <coughs> okay so we are going to uh, collect uh multiple functions multiple objects so and i will put, put it to us all those related items in a some uh, bucket and that bucket will be saved as a model okay fine so on that bucket we will call them as a model so grouping <coughs> uh, all those stuffs related to a model will makes you the code easier to understand and makes you to easy to uh, use okay so and uh, <coughs> very simple example is so you might have used a math library right since see so what does it math includes okay math library in the sense you will get to know it uh, whatever the math functions whatever the math mathematical calculations basic or advanced calculations uh, uh, supporting uh, like uh, functions might be present supporting uh, initializations whatever the stuff constant values so all those stuffs might be present with this uh, library and we can take the help of it right so general uh, thing will come to your mind as soon as you heard that name so, so likewise uh, you can create your own module and you can put all those related items related to your task complex task especially and put all those related items to in a in a single uh, container and you can call them as a model okay and you can use them and you can use them remember using import keyword okay you can use them using import keyword okay so let me just uh, show you a simple example uh, of the simple calculator itself uh, let me just create a model and uh, how can you use them okay let's uh, let me give you just a demonstration of it and uh, for the implementation of model okay so i'll just uh, create functions <coughs> okay. in a simple calculator we'll be having add function add of um, a comma b so we have used uh, a comma b will will very like it okay next we'll have a return statement return a plus b right i'll have another function called subtract function so subtract of a comma b so it will return me the difference of two values sorry i'll have another function called as dif uh, product comma b so it will return me the product of a and b fine so i'll just uh, okay for a simple case i just uh, need this okay so and uh, i'll save it by the name simple calculator dot py in the functions library okay and save it okay so it is saved okay so afterwards so my library is created okay as like yesterday.h i have simple calculator named library here okay now i can how can i use it so create a new file 
now here i want to uh, have two variables uh, x equals uh, 1 uh, 2 3 4 1 2 okay so y equals uh, 4 3 5 6 7 2 okay so i want to print the sum difference and product <coughs> of these values okay some difference and product of these values if i want to manually calculate them uh, then uh, i have to use the operators and i have to again write the x uh, x plus y x minus y and x uh, star y so all those stuff I, I have to write right so instead of calling this so this is uh, anyway it, this is just a simple task uh, it is not, it doesn't affect much like uh, instead of writing the module <coughs> you can write it manually but uh, when coming to the complex task okay just with the function call hundreds of lines will be replaced so in such situations uh, these models will plays a major role okay i'm just giving the demonstration of how can you use the modules okay so in one file you are going to find uh, define your things you define your objects and classes functions all, all the stuffs you are going to define it here and in another file so where your actual project is going to build okay so here just use a statement import simple calculator okay so this is my uh, model name right so in which case we have uh, created the uh, file so in that case only upper case lower case characters be careful since it is a case sensitive language you have to give the uh, cases very carefully how you have created so in that way only you have to use okay so simple calculator name so i have just name use the name okay just import simple calculator that's enough i can use the functions add of I'll just uh, print add off what is that x comma y print subtract of x comma y and print okay product of x comma y okay so without any def definition i can use this function but along with this i have to remember one thing okay so these functions are anyhow is not defined okay so these many statements are not uh, defined here in this program so if i want to execute them and i want to perform the uh, i want to perform these tasks then i can take the help of this simple calculator model okay so i have imported the model imported the model in the sense all those functions are now imported to imported here fine and now if you want to use any of the objects which are defined inside that uh, model then use it using dot operator right so like simple calculator dot add simple calculator model name dot function name model name dot uh, object name model name dot class name so likewise you have to use it okay so here uh, the name is quite lengthy i want to uh, i can't use this lengthy name again and again i just give the nickname here okay so and that nickname can be given using as keyword okay so if the name is lengthier and if the name is quite difficult to remember then you can give the uh, alias name using the as keyword okay so i just give the alias name using as keyword followed by the nickname nickname i have given like sc okay just use the sc dot add sc dot subtract sc dot <coughs> xy so then save it save it like uh, example one dot by so just use in the program okay just execute execute in the current console here see the values some difference and products here it is appearing the values okay so this is how we can implement modules
okay so that is how uh, functions and models concepts uh, can be explained and you can implement the models in this way and you can uh, uh, this is just a simple task <coughs> Where you are going to use just a sim uh, perform a simple task like simple addition, simple multiplication, division, uh, subtraction. That's it. So it will be very helpful and it will be very um, effective when you are going to perform a complex task. Then it will be uh, then the effect of uh, these modules uh, and the role of these modules will get to you. Okay. So <coughs> so this is how uh, models can be implemented. Okay. So how the models can be created? Just uh, put out all the steps or define all the steps what you are going to uh, use so all the steps in a single file and save the file by the name dot py okay and uh, where uh, this is just created okay so all the steps are just created when you execute this you'll just create it nothing will uh, going to execute nothing will do going to print okay so afterwards uh, whenever you require it just import the statement and if you want to give the alias name or the nickname just use the keyword as followed by the nickname and you can use the functions using uh, or the functions or the classes or any objects which are defined inside the uh, model okay if you are cre if you are uh, defined the variable here if you have created the variable and assigned the value here then that uh, can also be used is like uh, sc <coughs> dot a Okay, if you have already created like a is equal to 10 in the simple calculator um, uh, file then uh, that value if you want to use it here then you can just use it like sc dot a okay so likewise you can use any of the uh, objects which are defined inside the model using dot operator okay so this is how uh, modules uh, can be implemented okay <coughs> and if you want to um, import only specific functions or a specific uh, uh, only a one mod one function uh, like if you if your uh, module contains hundreds of functions like new model along even are hundred of hundreds of functions but it's rather the one model one function matra new views mark on tidra where the lab are not time of the import a gashat ke either then are constraints it don't tell you can just import that also okay so i want to just uh, like if you want to uh, import only add function add function as to Add function as to new use mark on the list simple character dot add and as to ne code board okay now go to add function matra ne import agat okay so this is how uh, you can uh, select uh, <coughs> select a specific uh, part of the model to import and uh, you can use them fine so <coughs> so that is how uh, you can create your model and uh, along with this uh, model uh, you can <coughs> using these functions and models you can create your packages that is the biggest library okay fine so the next concept becomes the package okay it is very similar to models so statements statement multiple statements will uh, together will give you a program multiple programs will give you a functions multiple functions will give you a model multiple models will give you a package that's it okay so this is how uh, models are uh, going to be uh, implemented fine <coughs> fine so uh, if you have any doubts in any of the concepts uh, so far we have discussed in the any function concept or in case of the uh, model concept uh, we can just ask me guys uh, do you have any doubts with respect to the functions or the model concept <coughs> <coughs>